What's going on, future entrepreneurs? I am back with another COTPS informational update with some things that I've been finding out. People have been sending me. Uh, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and check out this quick, quick disclaimer, even though some of you probably don't read it anyway. Let me go ahead and read some, some of this for you. This is uh, my channel and the information included are not intended to serve as a substitute for financial consultation. Certain issues, concerns, and conditions always require the advice of appropriate legal professionals. Seek professional financial advice when needed. What's provided on my channel is what I am doing to create a passive income stream that you can or won't use depending on the decision that you decide to make through your own free will. All information will have its own risk and you are not required to make mandatory or follow or get involved in any of the programs that I'm referring to. Do your own independent research for as long as you can to make the best decision for you and your situation. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to be talking about some more information that I've been getting and I have got on COTPS. I've had it for a couple of days, but I didn't know when I was going to bring it out. That was the reason why I was trying to get the poll on what you guys wanted to see next. Since a lot of you guys are interested, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about this with the COTPS and what's been going on, what's happened in the last week. Let's get into it. Once again, we got my man Low Key Bunny. Shout out to him. He brought on the guys. You can see on the screen we had quite a bit of money in the um, COTPS system. And go, guys, you don't mind. Go ahead and shout out Low Key Bunny. Subscribe to the channel if you like his information that, I'm, that he's bringing. Uh, right here, you can see from the title COTPS investor lost 850K. He's telling the story. He called the FBI ASAP. Man, this is crazy. My man put in almost a million dollars. So I would have to uh, have to guess that this man put in either his retirement money or some savings money. That's that's quite a bit of money to put it in one of these type of systems. Um, I would assume that he was new because I would I, I would never have thought someone would have put that account of that amount of money in. That is quite a lot. Now uh, let's see what's going on here. I always see my man low key bunny over there. Let's let's get into this. And also after this one, I do have another video that I want to show you guys as well. Uh, another uh, little bit of information that we got. I thought to myself that I probably wouldn't, um, you know, talk about the name that we shall not talk about. But well, I will. I'll put the name out there. Um. I'll talk about a little bit more if that's what you guys want to hear and that's what you want to see. And I'll see what other information I can get or whatever information is passed on to me. I'll keep passing it on to you as long as you guys want to know. But if you don't want to know, that's fine. I'll just, we'll just talk. I would, I, I try to pretty much here to show you guys which, what it is that you want to not show, but here to give you content on what you guys want to talk about. I'm going to be probably doing a live stream. I was going to do it today and do this with the live stream, but I think I'll just go ahead and make this video now so I can get this information out to you. And uh, since that's what you guys want to hear about. As I started to think, there's been a lot of people, and I mean a lot, from all sides of life right. that have been affected recently in regards to the recent plug for COTPS.com. Uh, right. uh, meet Mike. Um, and Mike has uh, volunteered to actually speak, a, a, give a little testimony um, in regards to what happened to him. He unfortunately, as you see, lost up to eight hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now, guys, what I had, um, what I actually was, I had planned on doing before this, well, not before this, but a while back when the, when CLT was first came out, there was rumblings of people saying there was a guy who was in the system for a year and he had been had made millions. I don't know if this is a guy. I don't know if it's another guy. I guess we'll find out. And what I was going to try to do, and I never ended up doing it, is I was going to try to contact that guy and try to do an interview with him to see if he would be willing to talk about the company more, to see if we can find out more information about the company. But that video and me doing that never materialized. So I guess this guy is going to have to be the best that we get to as finding out someone who put in a lot of money. And they pretty much put a lot on a lot. I hope this didn't destroy his um, financial bracket or destroy put him in a, in a state of more frustration and in a state of foolish in a state of foolishness and a state of mind that i don't think any of us would kind of fathom i mean think about the money that we've lost think about this what this man has lost i only had in maybe i only put in about 14 1600 and the account was at six thousand when it was uh when he decided to disappear this man has eight hundred and forty thousand. i don't know how much he put in i don't know how much, how much he deposited 
Maybe he'll say it, maybe he won't, but this is an account that has over 800,000. So I'm going to assume you put in at least, since my account almost six, almost multiplied by six, or even by five, let's just take away that and just say he put in 200,000. That's still a lot of money. That's still close to a quarter a million dollars if he left it in and let it duplicate. Let's just, I just hope that he took some of the money out and it wasn't a total loss because this would be, for me, this would be one of the most frustrating things ever. So I figured it'd be a good testimony to have him on our show here and to get a little bit of, you know, understanding of what in the world happened, right? So with that being said, let's give him a quick call here. Hello. Hey, how are you, Mike? Oh, man, thanks for calling. How are you? Man, I can't complain. I know you're still recuperating over the last few days. Yeah, it's brutal, the aftermath. Um, I mean, I, I still, I'm still pinching myself right now. I, I can't even, honestly, it doesn't seem like it's real. No, it doesn't, right? I mean, so, um, Just you... like... guys, this is, and this is also another reason why you should put in more than you should. As you can see, he put in an extensive amount of money. Um, I don't think any of us here have, I just, I don't know, but I would think most of us here wouldn't have, don't have this kind of money. If we did, I would think we wouldn't be investing in these type of things. So I'm guessing he was trying to get more out of what he already had and he ended up losing quite a bit here. So let's just go back into it. I mean, if you hear, if my video keeps kind of going back and forward, I'm going to feel like I'm going backward. It's just me kind of, kind of messed up things a little bit here. Right now, I, I can't even... Honestly, it doesn't seem like it's real. No, it doesn't, right? I mean, so um, just you like, just, like, just like when I was watching, just like when I was watching the numbers compound, it right. didn't seem real. No, exactly, exactly. Now, can you kind of explain to us like your whole entire story, just so that the uh, audience has an understanding of literally what happened and what's going on with you specifically? Yeah, sure. So, uh, go back to. Starts, it starts back in uh, probably March. Um, I joined a, I joined a, um, I joined a, a group called Beat the Banks. Okay. Um, and Beat the Banks is a kind of like an online forum that's part of. Uh, total coincidence. I just joined Beat the Banks a couple of days ago. It was something else I was looking into that I wasn't gonna bring to you guys, but since you already said the name. Let me see if I can find a tab because I just opened it up on my maybe my other browser. I was already <laughs> actually if I open it up, let me see. I'm gonna show you guys just so you don't think I'm BSing. This is one of the Zoom calls that they just recently had that I was gonna watch last night. And here is here's the actual site of Beat the Banks. And it's another thing that I was looking into. And it's it's, it's like a, it's like another site. So I didn't I had no idea he was gonna say that. I'm already looking into that as something as well, and it's pretty much just a website. You don't have to go to it, just something something that I was looking into. I had no idea that's what he was already in as well. So as you can see, there's something else that I'm already kind of um, tracing down and doing my research on that and checking into it. But I think that's that was involving yield farming. Yeah, that's, that's involving yield farming. So I was looking into the yield farming space, and I had signed up. That's like a little free site to give you a lot of information. You check it out, and that's what I was doing with that. So it looks like he was in, involved in that. And they also show you ways how to use crypto and different type of ways to earn it as well. So I, I had no idea he was involved in that. Let's keep going. Uh, Yieldfarming.com. All right. Uh, it's just, you know, people that are interested in DeFi, right. you know, get on there and, and meet other people. And so I came across... Um, mm -hmm. Came across somebody that uh, posted a uh, posted a, a message about a you know this new this new payout paying three percent a day right uh, and uh, I said wow this is this is interesting so I I messaged him I hopped on a quick call just for the hell of it and uh, he's like yeah I've been in it for a couple weeks and this uh -huh. so I I signed up and I, I put in probably. I think I threw a thousand dollars in there just to, just to test it out. Okay. And this is this is probably now. See, that's kind of when he should have kind of stopped and said, "Okay, how much is going to be my maximum?" You have to have a 
when you go into this program, guys, you have to know how much you're going to put into tests and that you're willing to lose in the beginning in case something happens like COTPS and you just got in and they leave. And you have to have a maximum amount of money that you're going to put in that if that, if that disappears, you're okay with that as well. It looks like he kind of went like a lot of people did. He's not the only one, but he went overboard and put in way too much because he said he started with a thousand. And most people that I know that have that have a, a lot of money, they don't have their money in one space. They have it in like 15, 20 different spaces. So if one investment goes down, they have other investments that, that can kind of replace it. Or even if they have, it's not, it, is, it doesn't give you as much of a, a blunt force trauma if, if something like this would happen. So it looked like he overextended and he put too much. Unless, I, unless, unless I'm missing something, he's worth $5 million or he has more of the money than this. And this didn't hurt as much, and he still lost it, and we're still just telling the story. That, and let's see, let's find out. Probably in the uh, this is late April, because we're probably the twenty fifth of April. Okay. And uh, I I put it in there for about three days, and then I, I just to test out the system. I, I did a withdrawal, and within a matter of seconds, you know, it hits my it hits my KuCoin account. I'm like, wow, right? <laughs> this is amazing, right? I and that was part of the ploy. That was part of the things that got a lot of us in is when you actually did the, you actually, a couple things. One, there was not a lot to get involved. Two, you can withdraw at any time as long as it weren't, as long as it wasn't tied up in the transactions. And three, from a lot of people who I've heard with the transactions, it was, it was almost immediate. It was as fast as anything that they've been involved in. And they actually received it. I think a lot of us were kind of banking on them standing around a little bit longer and maybe longer than they, than when they did. Excuse me. Then they did, and we just got caught up in the um, in the goodness and the positivity and all the things that were going on. Everybody's making money. Everybody's showing how much they're making. And guys making two hundred thousand. You got guys making half a million. But I don't ever remember seeing a video with him and his results. So I'm assuming he did not share it with anyone. He just stayed in it, but he didn't share it with anyone. So I've never seen a video of anyone uh, with this amount of money in it. But I have seen a guy who had a video. Who had like two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand? I think his last one, if I'm not mistaken, was the five hundred thousand dollars, which was in his account. And I'm not sure if he made any withdrawals, but it's just a caution tale, guys. You have to go in with a a limit of what you want to start with when you first get in, and another limit of what you're going to do if things start to get well, and you stick with it no matter what. Absolutely. Um fully automated and i'm like yeah there's nobody sitting there pushing a button when i do a withdrawal like it just it just happens and i'm right. like okay so i said i said man you know i said let me uh let me let me just do this for a quick 30 days mm -hmm. double my money and make back all my losses for last year and just get out just get out know? right and, right and yeah i just i said just, god give me just give me 30 days that's all i want just 30 and, days, uh, yeah. Yep. Bad timing. And so I went hard, and I, I literally I put 400 grand in there. Oh, wow. Wow. Four Guys, I kind of knew it was somewhere between 200 or maybe more. And he just needed, all he needed was 30 days. Uh, he took that chance, and that was the wrong time. If he would have gotten in at the time where I got in, he would have already had his money back because I was in for about 50 days. I was in 20 days past the point that he wanted to get in. You know, so he kind of he stayed in. He didn't it sounds like he 30 days didn't he didn't stay in 30 days. Uh, he didn't quite make it to the 30 days and he just lost it. So it sounded like he had his plan was actually to get in, which is it's not a bad plan, but you just you just never know. So when he put in his 400000 it pretty much, as you can see on the screen, it pretty much doubled. But by that time, there's just nothing you can do because it's locked. They're having, they just keep sending a message about SMS withdrawal, and the money was just in there, and he couldn't get it out. So that's close to a half a million dollars that he put in. That's a lot. I mean, as long as he's comfortable with losing that amount, I mean, it's, it's pretty much what he put in, and that's pretty much the, the risk that he was willing to take because he said he already had some losses. He didn't really explain in what, but he's already had losses and he wants to get those losses back. And this is another reason why you can't go into a lot of these situations being kind of desperate and wanting to take the highest risk of risk and put in everything. It's kind of like going to the boat, going gambling, going to the casino, playing the lottery. It's a high chance you can win, but it's also a, a very high chance that you could lose too. 400, to be, to be exact, 406K. Woo! Uh, and... <laughs> By the you know wow. by the second weekend, I'm, I'm my account's at 
at like 600 grand. Wow. And at no Suck point you were, like, you were like, keep going, keep going, right? Like, yeah, not pull out. <laughs> I said, I said, wow. I said, oh my, I, I, and every day, once the 400 is, is, is sitting in, in, in COTPS, I swear to God, every night I don't sleep. Right. I literally, it, I'm up at all hours of night, two or three oh in the morning, gosh. looking at my and I don't blame him because, I mean, that's telling me again that he put in too much. Because if you have to stay up at night to watch the account to make sure the money's still there, that's telling me you put in more that you can afford to lose. And if it disappears like it just like it did, then you you're in a tough situation. You're in a, a worse situation than if you would have if not put on if you would have just left the the ten thousand. I mean, the one thousand. I think he would have been in a better situation if he would have put in maybe. Five percent of what he wanted to put in that four hundred thousand because I think he took a higher risk, but he waited and he tried and it. I mean, it just didn't work out. I mean, it's just a bad timing of everything, and it's just not. It's not. It's a high risk. You have to keep that in mind, guys. These are high risk options. Either one, even the ones I'm going to bring you. I have another one I'm looking at again. You probably can see it up here. I'm looking at this right now. That's going to be high risk, just like this one here. Phone, I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at my phone, and every day that goes by, it feels like it's a year. It's right. Just like, oh, I said, how am I gonna get? It seems like thirty days is gonna be like six, six, seven months. Right. I said, this is especially with that much liquidity. I, that's that's a lot of liquidity for yeah. sure. Yeah. And so I, what happened? So, right around my second week in, is in. <coughs> Is when is when the dis, in the SMS go, gets disabled. Wow. Right okay. around there. Wow. Wow. And, um, so can you kind of walk me I through would, as far as what you experienced that first time you saw the SMS notifications going haywire? Trying to withdraw. <laughs> yeah. So trying to let's withdraw. see. Did they? Uh, I'm trying to think. Did they? When did they post? So I believe it was Friday the 13th, was, perhaps or. or you, you kind of get the gist of the story. He, uh, he probably started to panic. He probably started to um, try to get his money out. And by that point, it was too late like the rest of us who left money in. But he got in like, it sounds like two, three weeks ago is when he got in. So he just heard about it and put his money in, put $1,000 in to test it out. Then he decided later on he was going to put 400000 in and let it sit for 30 days and get his money back and pretty much get it all out. The system did not last that long. It pretty much... SMS issues and all of these things and that was it. So that's going to be it for this guys, Um, this particular video. If you want you want to watch the rest just go ahead and, and go to Low Key Bunny site. You can see the name of the video here if you want to watch the rest of that story. I don't want to hold you guys for 30 minutes like I did just, just the other video on yesterday. So what I'm going to do is just go to the other video on something that was found out about COTPS. I think it wasn't too far after they started with the SMS messages and kept with the with the BS messages. So this is another video that I, someone sent to me and I never, I didn't think it would happen. As you can see, this is another site. Let's see if I can make this bigger. As you can see, this is another site and it says, the guy, the name of this video is, would this be the new COTPS site? And the date of the video. And you can see the name of the site is gcotp.com. So what happened is it looks like they tried to go to a and create another site. All it did was add a G, and I don't think there's S in front of it. I don't remember the other site had S either, but they pretty much took a G and just put it in front of COTP and tried to create another site. But this was on 523, and today is 527. So that's about four days ago. I tried to open up the site. I tried to go to the site, but the site would not, it wouldn't do anything. Um, it wouldn't open up. As you can see, I tried to type it in a couple. I tried to type it in another another way. It just it's doing the same thing. CLTP, CLTPS is doing. Type in gcltps.com, and it pretty much does this. This is what most websites do. They don't normally go to what the other site did. They normally go to something like this and say and give you this. And it seems like this was just another site. I don't know if they were creating this site or someone tried to clone the site. But there was another site that popped up looking exactly like COTPS. I'm going to let, let him say in this video what happened when he went to the site. He could actually create an account and he put in a little bit of money to test it out. Well, let me see. This is multiple streams of income with Abdul. This is something that he found out. I tried to go to the site for myself, but it wouldn't open. It wouldn't, you know, like I just showed it. The site 
uh, something going on with the domain name that may have pretty much disappeared, you know, from that already as well. This site may have been already up and running, and we just didn't realize it until after COTPS just did what they did. And a lot of people doing their research and checking out other things, it was just something that we noticed. So let's go ahead and go through this video. There's something called Teller. Well, I wouldn't be able to register unless go I got an SMS that you could do. So the new site, which I'm going to show you, um, seems to be exactly the same. Now, the thing is, you know, they've been saying that they've had an SMS issue and they've sort of like transferred it to the, some company called Teller. Well, I wouldn't be able to register unless I got an SMS message to verify um, my mobile. So this is the, the SMS message I got from them. As you can see there. So what he was saying is on the on the new site, he was able to get the SMS message and he was able to register this account. But on the old site, it looks like it was over here. It came up like it did on my phone a couple, the last time I checked it out, it was like a blank screen. Kind of like what I did with the GCOTP.com. So it just comes up as a blank white screen with a little spaceship thing on it. But when you, when they went to this new site and this was on the 23rd, it was, it sent them the message with the verification code. We can't see it because it's backwards. But it did send him the message with the verification code and he was able to activate this account, which he was able to put money in. So I entered it and opened this account. So what I did, just because I want to test it and see this is the guys, it, it probably, you know, like you say, I'd like you meet your own judgment whether this is the 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 the, the new people and it's um sort of um they've transferred the domain or whatever. Like I say, I don't know. I just, I just felt as if I needed to tell you this information for you guys to decide. And let me just get myself out of here. Information, etc. So it's all got the same thing. Um, yeah, interesting. Exactly the same. Now there is a way. I was thinking about this not long ago, a while back, maybe five, six years ago. There was a software that you can use, where you can pretty much, you can take a website, pretty much any website. If you had the space in your computer, and you can pretty much download that website to your computer. I forget the name of the site. It was something I was doing when I was doing affiliate marketing. There was a way for you to kind of take a, take a site that someone else has or like a landing page. And you can take that page and download it to your computer and edit it the way you want to edit it. And change some things on it and repost it exactly the way it was. But that was what that software was meant to be. But it, would also, it was also, it could be used for something like this if you want to clone a site. I'm not telling anybody to do this. I'm not actually telling you guys to go out and clone a website. I'm just saying there's software available five, six years ago that we, where you would be able to clone a website and download it to another server so you can use it for whatever domain name that you want it to do. I don't know if that's what's happening. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. And as you can see, still the same thing. So one thing I did notice is when you go to competition for orders, now the last one is five, this one is 10. As you can see, it says failed to complete orders in the tech. Because I put in nine, nine, uh, $11, just to uh, $11, that's right, just to test it to see if this is the new one. I can afford to lose $11, so that's I'm happy to do that um, on here. The other thing I noticed is when you go to recharge um, on here, Oh no, that's that's saying so that's that's a recharge. I just want to show you something else. Where did I get it? So I've got the competition orders, I wanted to show you that. Um where is it? One second. So as you can see, there's already people signed up for this and this transactions going. Um already as you saw with the other side, that was pretty much what someone was telling me that was um it was kind of a loop where it was the same exact thing going through every so every so often where it was kind of cycling the same names and the same profits back and forth. It's probably the same probably the same thing here. So that's gonna be it guys. If you want to go ahead and check out the rest of this particular video, you can go ahead and find it at multiple streams of income with Abdul. Check out the title, go back and check it out on this channel. I just wanted to give you guys another update on the COTPS and what I what I was what I was able to find out and what other people were seeing. Um, if you, got, if you got any more information, send it to me and I'll check it out. Uh, don't forget that, guys. Give me the HBO special, the Help Brother Out special. Give me, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more content.
peace.